If you've ever wondered why some older devices with physical buttons still work perfectly, while newer touchscreen gadgets start acting up after a few years, you're not alone. Today, we're diving into a surprisingly heated debate. Which lasts longer, touchscreens or physical buttons? And more importantly, why? We'll look at durability, how each one works, real-world wear and tear, and what actually determines the lifespan of your device. So if you're someone who likes tech that goes the distance, stick around because we will answer this intriguing question right here on History of Simple Things. Let's begin with the basics. Touch screens and physical buttons are everywhere. On our phones, in our cars, on appliances, and in ticket kiosks. They're our gateway into the digital world, but they function in completely different ways. Physical buttons are mechanical. They move when you press them. Something snaps or clicks inside, allowing an electrical signal to pass through. There's a satisfying feeling in that tiny bit of resistance. Touchscreens, meanwhile, are electronic. Instead of physical movement, they rely on sensors layered beneath a smooth sheet of glass. When your finger touches the display, the sensor interprets it as a command. It sounds simple, but these differences control how long these systems survive. To understand which one lasts longer, we need to look at how each one actually fails. Because sooner or later, everything breaks. It's only a matter of how and when. Physical buttons usually fail because their mechanical parts wear out over time. Inside each button, there are tiny springs, domes, or switches that get pressed thousands upon thousands of times. With enough use, these parts lose tension or weaken, which is why a once snappy button can start feeling mushy or unresponsive. Dust and moisture are also common culprits. They sneak into the gaps and cause corrosion or sticking. Touch screens fail in an entirely different way. Since they don't have moving parts, there's no mechanical wear to worry about. Instead, the fragile part is the display itself. Repeated tapping can cause pressure points. Natural skin oils slowly break down protective coatings. The sensor layer underneath, called the digitizer, can lose accuracy or develop dead areas where the device no longer responds to touch. And of course, the biggest risk is the most dramatic one, a cracked screen. One accidental drop can completely destroy a touchscreen's functionality, even if the underlying electronics are still fine. So in the simplest terms, buttons tend to die slowly, while touchscreens often die suddenly. Now let's dig into lifespan. Manufacturers often measure the life expectancy of physical buttons using something called a life cycle rating. It's a fancy term for how many presses a button can endure before it starts to fail. For example, the power button on a typical smartphone is built to survive around 100,000 presses. High-end mechanical keyboard switches can last for tens of millions of presses. Buttons on appliances usually fall somewhere in the middle. Touchscreens, on the other hand, are tested through simulated tapping and impact cycles. These tests mimic real-world usage and help determine how many touches the screen can handle before the sensors weaken. In most cases, touchscreens can withstand millions of taps, far more than most people will ever deliver. In theory, this means a touchscreen should outlast mechanical buttons by a wide margin. But here's the catch. The sturdy part of the touchscreen is the sensor technology. The weak part is the glass protecting it. Even though the digitizer might last for many years, a cracked or shattered display can make the entire device almost unusable. Ironically, even a battered, worn-out physical button will often keep working long after a cracked touchscreen is given up. To really understand longevity, though, you have to look at the environment in which the device lives. The conditions around the device often matter more than the technology itself. Take smartphones, for example. 
They're tossed into bags, dropped on floors, exposed to heat and moisture, and used constantly. In environments like construction sites, warehouses, or outdoor jobs, touchscreens rarely survive long without a crack or scratch. That's why professional equipment in rugged conditions still relies heavily on physical buttons. They can handle dust, grime, extreme temperatures, and rough treatment far better than glass can. Now think about a self-service touchscreen kiosk in a mall or a touchscreen panel in an office lobby. These environments are controlled, clean, and predictable. The device isn't being dropped or shoved into pockets. Under these calm conditions, a touchscreen can last an impressively long time without any wear showing. So lifespan isn't just about whether something has a button or a display, it's heavily shaped by the lifestyle and environment it's exposed to. Longevity also includes what happens after something breaks. Sometimes a device can be repaired easily, extending its life significantly. Physical buttons are generally affordable and simple to fix. Many devices use removable button modules, meaning you can replace just that small part without touching the rest of the device. Even basic cleaning can revive a sticky or unresponsive button. Touchscreen repairs, however, are a different story. Many modern devices fuse the touchscreen, digitizer, and sometimes even the battery or front frame together. This makes repairs complicated and expensive. A single crack screen can cost more than half the value of the entire device. So even if touchscreens theoretically last longer, the cost of fixing them can dramatically shorten their practical lifespan. So after breaking down all these factors, which one truly lasts longer? The honest answer is that physical buttons usually survive better in rough environments or when used heavily, while touchscreens can outlast buttons in controlled, gentle conditions. When it comes to longevity, the answer isn't as simple as picking one over the other. Touchscreens can last longer under ideal conditions, but they're fragile. Buttons are sturdy and predictable, but wear down slowly over time. The real winner depends on how you use your device and wear, If you enjoyed this video, please check out our other bingeable channels. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.